Hi everybody. Today we are making a, a mixed green salad with mandarin, oranges, and some nuts. First you take, you can use pecans or walnuts, whichever you prefer. I'm just going to use these because they're open. And I know a lot of you don't like to run the oven this time of year. You could do these at the end of spring. Just do a whole bunch because they're really good for snacking as well. And uh, just put them in a airtight jar, seal them, meal them. Use the uh, attachment or the brake bleeder. And what we're going to do is add just a smidge of maple syrup. And if you don't have real maple syrup, you can use the uh, pancake syrup. Add everything but my spoon. And just get these really coated. We're going to candy these. And it doesn't take very much syrup at all. You don't want them dripping. Just want to coat them so you can season them. I'm going to use some salt. These are not salted at all. They're just raw nuts. And you can leave this part out and just toast them if you want. Always toasting your nuts does wonders to the flavor and the crunch. I'm not the biggest fan of them particularly in a lot of my foods like banana bread and stuff like that. So I think the texture gets funny. <laughs> it's just me. I know everybody else loves them, my husband. And then I'm gonna put a little cayenne pepper. So you're gonna hit all those spots. The sweet, the salty, the spicy. And that's just to taste. And you don't have to use that either. You can just do the uh, maple syrup and nothing else. So, however you like it. So, I've put a seal pat down on my cookie sheet. And I'm going to put these in the oven at 350 and I'll check them in about 5 minutes. does not take long at all. I have an outdoor oven. If you have one of those, you can use that as well. I just, it's hot outside. I'd rather turn the oven on inside. Okay. And just spread them apart. Just helps them to toast better. And you can cut these up even more if you want into pieces. Okay, that's the oven saying it's hot. To stretch them out. So yeah, I'm going to put these in the oven and I will see you when they are finished and we put the salad together. Alrighty, here are our nuts and they're cooled and they're candied now. Took about seven and a half minutes so between five and eight minutes so yeah let's get this salad made okay so here we have mixed greens it's going to be a big salad and then I got some basil this basil is looking pretty good out of the yard and I'm just going to cut some pieces with the scissors and I'm going to start dehydrating basil and I got some parsley so I got what do I have out there parsley cilantro oregano, basil. I really wanted sage, but the 
herb set I bought. I thought it said sage, but there was no sage in there. And then I was looking for walking onions, and oh my goodness, those are expensive. And yes, I wash my hands and the herbs and everything. So here we have the mandarin oranges. Spread those around. And we have some blue cheese. Gorgonzola, whatever you, or you don't have to use any at all put some of that around. Oh, red onion. Sorry about that. I forgot the onion. Just cut some half rings of that, and you can use a balsamic or raspberry vinaigrette on this particular salad, whatever you like. And whatever you don't like, you don't have to put it on there. If you like a milder onion, you can use that. Put our pecans on the salad, preferably. And I have some bread crumbs, or not bread crumbs, croutons. And that's it. And then I have a raspberry vinaigrette. You can make your own if you want, or a balsamic. And there is our salad. Pretty yummy, pretty filling, and you can put as much or as little of everything as you want. So there you go, another summer salad dinner for you, or lunch. I'll see you next time. Bye.